Hi knitters, it's Maggie from Knitting in the Park. I wanted to take a break from my most recent pattern that will shortly be available on the Knitting in the Park blog, my Ravelry account, and a couple of other sites like loveknitting.com and tell you about the yarn that I'm working with. So a while ago, I found an affordable yarn that is acrylic, which means it's machine washable and dryable if you need to. It holds up well. The colors are really vibrant and they hold up really well. There's great texture to this yarn, which means there's really good stitch definition as you're working some different patterns and different techniques. And I'm all about it. So the yarn is called Paint Box Yarns. It's available on loveknitting.com. I've put some links in the uh, blog posts that talk about some of the previous patterns in which I've used it, like the totally twisted knit hat pattern. To be totally transparent, when I link to Paintbox Yarns, it is an affiliate link. Um, I have signed up with loveknitting.com because I do really like their site. I like the products that they offer and it just helps me be able to continue knitting and uh, especially as we've got this little bundle of joy that's on its way and all of the <laughs> extra bills and time constraints that are going to come with him. So Paintbox Yarns, they're affordable yarns right now. They have a sale going, I believe. I'll put the link and the information on the sale if it's still running in the description below this video and it's on almost everything that they offer. So they have cotton yarns as well, but this is the acrylic version of the yarn. I like it uh, when you tend to get into the more affordable acrylic yarns, I find it tends to get scratchier and the quality starts to drop, but I haven't found that to be true with paint box yarns. I like how soft they are for a synthetic yarn. I like how well they hold up. The colors really, uh, so far, uh, it's been my experience that the colors hold their hue uh, very well even after washing it. So it helps to make the different textures in your knitting pop. So I've used it in, the, like I said, the totally twisted knit pattern, which has these knit belows and these simple six row cable repeats. But even when it's stretched out and being worn as a hat, it looks great and you can really see all of the effort uh, that you put into all of the different you know techniques or skills in, the, in what you're knitting so if you're looking for something that really helps show the definition uh, and different textures of your projects I would say that the paint box yarn is a really good option to go with there's so many different color options for all of their different types of yarn but especially the acrylic I just bought some and some greens and some purples. Uh, they have gradient packs, so I got one of those where it's from white to a lighter pink to uh, a more deep uh, peony color, uh, which is nice because again, having a, a boy on the way, I've been knitting a lot in the kind of uh, boy specific primary hues, you know, the blues, the greens, the oranges. So it's nice to have some girly colors uh, mixed in there. I'm sure I'll get some flack because, you know, gender neutrality. I get it, trust me, we're doing it as well uh, in the toys and different things that we picked, but I just happen to love blue. It's one of my favorite colors. So that's why I'm knitting my baby boy a lot of blue things. Um, and my husband tends to like the greens and the other colors too. So it just happens that we kind of fall along that split. But yeah, paint box yarns definitely worth a look definitely worth a try uh especially now that they are on sale so you can buy with a little i know murph but it's only going to happen for a little while so definitely jump on their site and see the different goodies that you can uh snag while they're while they're still available this has been maggie from knitting in the park on paint box yarns and you can catch this in my latest pattern which is a baby item. I'm not gonna go too far into detail here because I still have some people guessing what it is on Instagram. We can find my posts and play along with us and I will be releasing it shortly. Have a great day, guys.